beautiful city of Chicago. And I am about to have my first experience um, at Universal Standards. So I am overwhelmed a little bit, but I'm excited. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to be honest with you guys before we get started here that I knew I wanted to vlog this entire experience, but I really didn't sit down and think about uh, all the fine tuning that it would take in order to make sure that I captured, you know, appropriate footage. I was kind of shy about asking people if it was okay if I filmed in their facility. So do I think that this first time could have been better? Absolutely. But I promise you, if you just hang in there with me, each vlog will get better and better. You got to start somewhere and uh, there's nowhere to go but up from here. Thank you. So here is the beautiful Universal Standard Chicago Clubhouse. It is in fact a residential loft space that was converted into a retail space. So it does have a kitchen, bathroom, all of that. When I walked in, I was greeted by my stylist who offered me, you know, my choice of beverage. And uh, he already had lots of things pulled and ready for me to try on in the dressing room. So the first top that I have here is this beautiful blue short sleeve top. It runs a little long on me because I'm only five foot tall, but the fabric was so flowy and sumptuous. It was just a beautiful piece, just a little longer than I necessarily uh, like my tops to be. Here we have this gorgeous two for one ensemble. It is a long sleeve green uh, Swiss dot, I think is what they call it, top. And the arms are sheer, but the body of it does have an underlaying. It comes in lots of colors. This was a beautiful piece. I love that the sleeves on it were very stretchy around the wrist. So you could kind of pull it up if you wanted to or let it hang down. This was a beautiful piece. And then they have the cigarette pants. Now I've seen these pants online several times and never decided to buy them. But they fit so good. I'm excited to possibly just maybe get those in the mail, maybe. <laughs> So the next outfit we have there starts with this Cupro top. Cupro is a fabric that reminds me of a cross between cotton and silk. It's a little bit on the heavier side, but it is very silky soft to the touch. Uh, it is long sleeve. They don't have the ability to push up the sleeves. I would have to roll them up, which I'm not quite a fan of that. But in terms of the overall quality of the shirt, cannot be beat. Next, we have the Moro pants. These pants do come in petite from my little five foot frame. They have zippers up the side. Seriously, I think this is probably the most comfortable pair of pants I've ever put on my rump in my entire life. Now, I will caution you not to look any further than my ankles at my Mitch Mac socks because I did not anticipate they would be on film. Thank you. So this top here is actually a mixed media top. It's made with that Cupro fabric that I mentioned earlier on the front, as well as on the back it has Universal Standards signature Peruvian cotton. This was a beautiful top. It felt really good. It draped really well, very well made. However, unless I can take an insurance policy out that protects this highfalutin t-shirt against stains of all varieties, barbecue sauce, ketchup, and ranch, I will not be paying $70 for a t-shirt. It's cute, but it ain't that cute. My stylist Christopher had not pulled these overalls for me, but I had seen them on the website and I was interested in trying them on, so he did go and dig out a pair for me. I love these overalls. I think they have lots of character with that zipper in the front. It's made of a great denim material. They are very comfortable and I could see me wearing these for years to come. So I had seen this top on many occasions on the Universal Standard website, but just it didn't catch my eye and Christopher pulled it for me and I went ahead and tried it on and absolutely fell in love. This is a beautifully made top. It feels absolutely wonderful. I think you could wear it with jeans. I have it on here with leggings. I think you could dress it up with a pair of dress pants. This was just an absolutely beautiful top and I'm glad that he pulled it for me. 
After I was done, my stylist took my picture and added me to the wall of clients that they have styled there in the clubhouse, which was kind of cool. Um, overall, this was a very interesting experience. I'm really glad I was able to visit the Universal Standard Clubhouse in Chicago. I would encourage you, if you're interested, to make an appointment online and stop on in and let them style you. Don't forget to tell them that I sent you. So you are about to hear the train driving by. When I was a kid, one of the movies that I used to um, watch all the time was Blues Brothers. Don't ask me. No kid should be watching Blues Brothers, the original. And I remember the lady who um, kept trying to kill the Blues Brothers and she lived right by the train tracks. And I thought that that was so neat that she lived right outside the train tracks. And here I am because the Blues Brothers was in fact uh, set in Chicago. So here I am walking down the same street to what I saw as a kid, you know, almost 40 years ago. So this is really a surreal experience. <laughs> but them trains is loud as hell. <laughs> I just left Universal Standard. I am headed to Eloquy and hopefully I'm able to find some really um, neat pieces so see you in a bit i'm here on michigan avenue headed to my next stop so if you tune in next time you'll see what type of adventures i had at eloquy